All right, Dan, thanks. Tracking the tropics tonight, people who live along the Texas coast are already feeling the impact from Tropical Storm Alberto. In Surfside Beach, Texas, you see it behind us, storm surge. It is turning beachfront roads into rivers. And with the first named Tropical Storm of this year's hurricane season, some have written in wondering what's the difference between tropical storms, typhoons, and hurricanes. Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley answers that good question. We have another question from Michael Hill today who sent in three good questions now. So thank you so much, Michael, for sending them in. And this time he wants to know what the difference is between hurricanes, typhoons, and tropical cyclones. And what better time to answer this than our very first tropical storm forming in the Gulf. So let's take a trip around the world. We'll start off in the Atlantic. We have tropical storms and hurricanes here, which are rated on a scale of one to five on the Saffir Simpson scale. We also use this scale for the Pacific, off the coast of Mexico, all the way near Hawaii. Now, once you get past Hawaii, storms are called typhoons and super typhoons instead of hurricanes. Japan and Hawaiian meteorologists monitor these waters. So let's go even further into the Indian Ocean and the South Pacific Ocean. So tropical storms also impact the southern hemisphere near Australia, but they actually spin in the opposite direction. So tropical cyclones and severe tropical cyclones form here as well, similar to off the coast of Madagascar near Africa. Now in India, they are known as cyclonic storms. The strongest storms here are known as extremely severe tropical cyclones, kind of a mouthful. But finally, in the Southern Atlantic, storms here are actually very rare. Thanks to unfavorable conditions with only one storm in history ever reaching category two strength. But if they do form, they are called tropical cyclones. So all of these storms form the exact same way, feeding off of warm tropical waters, just like our hurricanes here at home. It really all depends on where these storms form across the globe. Now, if you have a good question that you want to see answered here on News 15, scan this QR code that you're seeing right here on your screen. That'll send you over to my email, mcrowley at kadn.com. You can send me any good question that you have, and I'll answer them right here on News 15. I'm Storm Track 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley. I can't wait to hear those good questions.